What's going on everybody, Kwaku here. Quick video, uh, yesterday was the Windows 11 announcement and with it came the PC health checker for Windows 11. And one of the big things that you pretty much need for Windows 11 was to make sure your TPM version was about 2.0. And so a lot of people have been very iffy, they don't know where to check this. A lot of people have been seeing errors saying that uh, their PC is not supported for Windows 11, mine included. So in this video, I'm just going to show you real quick how to find your TPM version. Um, I say the two easiest ways. So let's jump in. So one of the easiest ways that I found to check your TPM version uh, was to just type in in your Windows key R, your run command, or just open up your start menu and start typing tpm.msc. And what this does is it brings up your trusted platform module, which is what TPM stands for, the management tool. Um, and with it, if you just drag this out or make it full screen, you can see your specification version. And there you go, that is uh, that you do in fact have a TPM chip or a firmware-based TPM chip uh, built into your motherboard. Now, there is another way to check your TPM, and that's what we're going to look at. So the other way to check your TPM is via uh, device security. So what you'll do is you open up your start menu and you type in device security. And once this opens up, uh, you'll see device security information here. And all you'll do is you'll see here, it says security processor. Your security processor called the trusted platform module. If you saw early in this video, you saw that term. Or TPM is providing additional encryption for your device. You click security processor details. And there you go. You can see your manufacturer, same thing as before. You see AMD, you see your manufacturer version, which is for me is this. And then your specification version, which is for me 2.0. So everything is good to go and ready to go. Now, real quick uh, to close out, if it's not enabled or if it's not, if it shows that there's no chip installed, there's another way you can check to see whether or not um, you even have it enabled. You could have it in your computer, but it's disabled for some reason. And you would have to go to your BIOS and every BIOS is different, but you can kind of play around, look through your BIOS. Um, and check to see whether you see FTPM on your BIOS. For instance, my ASUS BIOS shows FTPM and I switched it over to firmware and then this worked perfectly for me. So hope this was useful for you all. Just a quick video showing you about the whole TPM situation with Windows 11.